leaked more than 5 million passwords to mail.ru, Gmail and uh, Yandex accounts recently became available to the public. That scared lots of people senseless. And while companies claim that most of them were unactive, people are worried that there's uh, no chance to hide personal data from hackers anymore. Prime Time's Alexander Abmanietz talked to American science fiction author Bruce Sterling, who's best known for uh, his work on the Mirror Shade cyberpunk anthology. Ahead of his lecture in the Strelka Institute, uh, and they talked about whom we should blame for the growing number of cyber crimes. Let's have a look at that interview. Bruce, as a cyberpunk pioneer, you should be quite fond of gadgets, but you are actually blaming them for what? I've been involved in that issue for a long time because I, I wrote a book in the early 1990s, which was called The Hacker Crackdown, mm -hmm. which was about the computer underground of the period and about computer crime. And really, the worst ideas that people had about computer crime are nothing compared to the horrible realities right. of genuine computer crime. It turned out to be much, much worse than people expected in the early 1990s. Even people who were considered alarmists about it could not imagine the level of, uh, of difficulty. You know, and crime is just one aspect of it. There's also cyber war and, you know, state-sponsored cyber activities and, you know, it's just become part of reality now and, uh, you know, reality is, um, is harsh. We've just seen a huge leak of passwords from Gmail and I'm not even asking you how did hackers do that, I'd rather ask you why. If you release half a million email addresses, you're trying to show that you're powerful and that you can sell the email addresses to other thieves. So that's the idea. I mean, you want to boast about your technical capacity so that eventually people will hire you or they will buy your goods. Or even just plain boast. I mean, you can, you can leak it. The more you learn about computer security, the more tempted you are to become a thief. You know, it's not, it's not something, yeah, you know, it's like if you're really very knowledgeable about crime, you become a crime expert. And at that point, you're you're exposed to the temptation to do it. So were you ever tempted? When I wrote my book, I got a lot of offers from people who were asking me to teach them how to commit crimes. And, you know, I've had people in law enforcement come up. I mean, you know, the IRS was using my book to teach people about computer crime. You know, I must say I paid a moral price for that. You know, I mean, criminal activity is ugly and, you know, it's hurtful. Um, you know, I, I was exposed to temptation by having, you know, this sort of panoply of dark activity revealed to me. And I did not become a computer criminal. In fact, it made me much more ethical in my online activities. I now sort of draw sharper and harder distinctions between what I allow myself to do. For instance, I don't even subscribe to torrents. I don't download free movies. I don't use cracked material, you know, uh, even though that's become a very common thing. Um, you know, and, and in some ways it was, a, it was an educational experience, but it also took a toll. By the way, what do you think of Edward Snowden and his moral choice? Heaven only knows what his fate will be, whether he'll ever be allowed to return to his own country. I mean, certainly not under the current administration. He might be pardoned by a later administration. That would not surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me if he's on an American postage stamp someday. I would be happy to talk to him. You know, as a journalist, if he wants, to, if he happens to be watching Russia TV and would care to drop by, that would be great. Uh, him and uh, Anna Chapman. They would be my top two interview targets, uh, you know, as a working journalist in Moscow. Well, good luck with that, and thanks so much for the interview. Oh, well, that's kind of you to have me. I would like to interview Anna Chapman as well. Um, but let's move on to things maybe less beautiful but more musical. Beautiful but not in the visual sense. Uh, it's time for going out here. 